Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who you see here, soon must name a replacement for Democratic Senator Frank Lautenberg, who passed away on Monday. Who cares about what's going on in New Jersey? Political Diary editor Jason <laughs> Riley is here to tell us why. Jason, this appointment doesn't change did, the balance did, did of New power. New Jersey viewers do something to, uh, <laughs> to offend you, Jason, Mary? No, look, it, it doesn't change the balance of power in the Senate. So really, who cares about who he puts in the well, seat? Well, it, it's it, the the uh, with Frank Lautenberg's death. Um, Democrats lose a seat, they go from 55 to 54, that matters. This is a pretty closely divided Senate. You've got some big uh, issues coming up like immigration reform. You've also got Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid who wants to change the rules of the Senate to end that 60 vote uh, limit on cutting off debate. And so, yeah, there, there, are some, um, there are some big issues going on. But before Chris Christie gets to picking someone, uh, he also has to decide when to hold the election, yeah, why, which why, is why very is controversial. Matt? I know it is yeah. controversial. It right. seems like the laws in the state are a little bit confusing. Yeah. Um, what are his choices? Well, the logical choice would be to hold a special election on the upcoming election day in November. Um, that would save money. You know, you wouldn't have a separate election day, which costs to like money. supposed saving money. Right. It would be the fiscally responsible thing to do. The problem is that he's on the ballot in November, and the likely Democratic candidate for the Senate would be Cory Booker, and he, who would be at the top of the ticket, bring a lot of Democrats out to the polls. Now, Christie's not so much worried about his own election. He's, he's crushing his Democratic opponent in the gubernatorial race, although he does want to win by a large margin, and this may mean that he wins by a smaller margin, but he's more concerned about bringing a lot of Democrats out to the polls if he holds the special election on the election day in November coming so up. So you're looking not just towards this year's uh, re-election, right. but actually forward to the presidential exactly. race. Chris Christie wants, everyone assumes he has presidential ambitions. Uh, I, I'm, I'm one of those people who also makes that assumption. And so he wants to win big in New Jersey, to have some momentum going into 2016 to say to those Republican primary voters, listen, I'm from a blue state. Obama carried my state by 17 points, but I won re-election easily. I'm the guy who can win in swing states that the Republican Party will need in 2016. He wants to be able to send that message or carry that message to the Republican primary voters in 2016. And that's why this gubernatorial race, the margin of victory is so important. Okay. To him. But also the kind of person who he appoints to the Senate race yes. matters it too. Matter. He's getting a lot of pressure to yeah. appoint somebody mm -hmm. uh, far to the right of the Republican Party in mm -hmm. New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. what signal would that send if he did that? Well, Republicans have had a very tough time, Mary, winning uh, Senate seats in New Jersey. The last one was Clifford Case in 1972 Ouch. when Chris Christie was 10 years old. So it hasn't been a very good track record. And some say it's because they keep um, nominating moderate. So that, that don't uh, draw enough of a distinction between themselves and the Democratic candidates and voters keep going with the Democrats. So listen, I'd love to see Steve Forbes uh, <laughs> in that seat or, or Brent Shudler, solid New Jersey conservatives. That's probably not going to happen. You look at the number of, of, of senators in the Northeast that are Republicans, you can count them on one hand, you know, Susan Collins, Kelly Ayotte, Pat Toomey in Pennsylvania, there aren't a lot. So he's got to find someone, again, Cory Booker, popular Democrat, mayor of Newark is probably going to be the Senate candidate for the Democrats. You have to find someone who can beat Cory Booker. Yeah. And, you know, I, Beating I think Cory yes, Booker, yes, Jason, yes, yes. that is One a guy, very, very uh, tough One guy that call. he might want to look at, though, is a biotech executive named John Crowley, who almost ran for Senate against Menendez, the state's other senator, uh, in 2012. Got to leave it at that, that, Jason. Got to okay. leave it at that. Political diary okay. editor, Jason Riley, thanks for being on the show.